Hello all, as a continuation of my lecture series in special electrical machines, now we are going to discuss about the controllers of permanent magnet synchronous machine. So in the previous video, we have discussed about the construction and uh, operation of PMSM. Uh, whereas in this video, we are going to discuss about the controllers. So coming to controllers, uh, here uh, what type of control and uh, how many types of controls are there and uh, particularly about vector control we are going to discuss in this video. So a permanent magnet synchronous motor is also called as brushless permanent magnet sine wave motor since it is a AC input waveform, AC input motor. A sine wave motor has a sinusoidal distribution of magnetic flux in the air gap sinusoidal current waveforms and sinusoidal distribution of stator conductors and distributed stator windings. So coming to types of control of PMSM. So for all the motors, controllers plays a major role in order to control the speed of the permanent magnet synchronous machine. Either we have to control the speed or torque, whatever it may be, we need a control unit. So here we have three types of control vector control, self control and microprocessor control. Whereas vector control and self control we call it as power controllers and microcontroller, microprocessor comes under digital controller process. So coming to vector control, the vector control of permanent magnet synchronous motor, it is a technique that allows for the control of permanent magnet synchronous machines, voltage and flux space vectors. So space vector modulation is also one type of modulation technique uh, like pulse width modulation, space vector modulation etc. Coming to electromagnetic torque in any electrical machine is developed due to the interaction of current carrying conductors with the air gap flux. Let us consider two machines whose armature conductor currents and the air gap flux are shown. So uh, here we call, we call like quadrature and non-quadrature position of air gap flux and armature axis. So first picture and the second picture. So first one is quadrature and second one is non-quadrature where the first one the flux uh, distribution is along the y axis and this is what we call it as direct axis and the second picture is horizontal. Each and every armature conductor experiences a force which contributes the torque. And the torque contributed by various armature conductors have the same direction even though their magnitude varies. And it is observed that steady state and dynamic performance of a most of such are arranged are better. So coming to vector control in detail, here we are going to consider two parameters voltage and frequency. So V by F control, we call it as V by F control. And uh, for this we keep V by F constant and uh, another thing we can vary V and F to get the desired speed and torque. <coughs> so from the theory of uh, BLPM SNV is a brushless permanent magnet sine wave motor, it is known that as the speed is varied from a very low value up to the corner frequency, then the desired operating point of current is, will be equal to zero and that current is along the Q axis, quadrature axis. Such a condition can be achieved by suitably controlling the voltage by PWM technique after adjusting the frequency to a desired value. So that from here we can uh, observe that voltage and frequency may be kept constant and uh, by varying voltage and frequency also the desired speed can be achieved. For that many control techniques are there in which we are going for vector control technique. And uh, in such case, it is better to operating point of current is obtained with minimum ID value after satisfying the voltage constraints. And uh, coming to vector control technique, so here uh, we have a BLPM sine wave motor and uh, we are measuring the speed using uh, rho TG where TG is a taco generator which measures the speed and that measured speed is given to the computational block. And the computational block and that uh, reference values will make the vector control technique. And uh, since we have a power switching circuit, we need a triggering circuit also. So we have uh, four blocks here. One is power switching circuit, triggering circuit, computational block. And to measure the rotor position and the speed, we need RPS. 
which is rota position sensor and TG is tangent uh, generator, taco generator. And with the help of taco generator, the speed is measured and given to the computational block which takes the current value as a reference and we will be having an original value. And using comparators, we measure all the three phase currents, IA, IB and IC which is given to the triggering circuit and it is given to the power switching circuit. So if the similar process continues and by continuously monitoring the speed and the rotor position, uh, we can come to the conclusion that we can control the speed of the motor. So this is a simple block diagram of a vector control technique. So here uh, the stator voltage control of the speed for the speed control of induction motor is suitable for uh, this uh, type of uh, stator voltage control is suitable for fan and pump drives, uh, drive for a crane running as a generator or constant load drive. So the answer is fan and pump drive and uh, V by F is maintained constant in the following case of speed control of induction motor. So it is uh, below base speed or uh, below base speed with frequency control, above base speed with frequency control and none of these. The answer is below the base speed with frequency control. This V by F technique can be used. So dash motor is a constant speed motor. Synchronous motor is called as the constant speed motor. So in this video we have discussed about the vector control technique uh, which is used to control the speed of permanent magnet synchronous machine. Thank you.